when I was around 20, um, 19, 20, 20, 21, got married, and um, it was someone that I, I just loved very, very much, and he had had rough stuff in his life, I had rough stuff in my life, I thought we could come together, we would know better, we would move on, but you know what, didn't turn out that way. Um, I loved anyone who would give me attention, and he loved anyone who was giving him attention. And that gave him an opportunity to do anything he wanted, and I would pretty much jump because I wanted the attention of him so much. So he learned how to work me, and I learned how to succumb or, or jump, I guess. But he never loved me, and um, I guess... I guess, I guess I didn't love him, but I guess I needed him, and it is what it was, and what came out of it was two absolutely beautiful children. But anyway, young, dumb, got married, decided, you know, I'm going to rule the world, and as all young people that do this, we don't come for money, we didn't have a wedding, we went to the Justice of the Peace, got, got, got in this thing for $25, and, um, Pretty much had no place to stay, no vehicle or anything. So we started off from the rock bottom and um, started getting those things put in place. And we went to my mother's house to stay with her and she was just like not having it. Um, and if you've seen other videos, you know that our relationship is really goofy and you understand. So anyway, we ended up um, being in this little hotel motel rundown spot that was at the end of our town. And it was cheap. You could rent it by the night. You could rent it by the week. A lot of drug dealers hung out there. A lot of prostitutes hung out there. But it was the cheapest place in town. Got a little room. Had a little, you know, college refrigerator. And I had a little, you know, um, plug-in little burner thing to cook on and stuff. And we just thought we were doing the thing. Had a bed. And hell, we were 19 years old. That's all we needed, really. Place to cook, keep our beer, and have sex. And, um... We started waking up after a couple of days there. We started waking up and having slugs in the room. Slugs, nasty slugs. And we were just like, oh my God. Well, it turns out that with us in there stirring it up and running water and flushing toilets and taking showers and this, that, and the other, that they were coming to the water source. And this place was a rundown place. And actually part of our hotel room was sunk and had dropped at one point, was on the floor. And I'm pretty sure that we had one of the better rooms. But anyway, it got to the point it was so disgusting that we had to go and get them cans and cans and cans of salt and take and pour all the way around the room and um, around the toilet and around the bed. So we had these big, huge salt lines and salt rings everywhere. Because if anybody knows, if you pour salt on a slug, they'll melt away. I know that's horrible. I don't want to hurt anything. But I didn't want to wake up with them in the bed either or take a shower with them or uh, anything. So we would wake up at this point with the half slimed slugs in salt rings all around our room and around our bed. It was gross. But you do what you do. It's also a story about us being homeless and living in a station wagon. You ought to go find it. Anyway, have a good day.